Hi there, my name is Paul Spooner, and I'm also known as DudeCon on the internet. I wrote some scripts for Minecraft. I'm in the credits of Minecraft, and I figured I'd make a video about how to use these things, because very few people seem to be using them these days, and uh, I really like them. I really like using them, and I think that they would be cool for other people to use too. I think you guys would enjoy it. So, first off, how do you get to this page? Well, you can go to mc.triop.com, and that will take you to this page. It's redirected on my website. It goes goes here. That's that's the actual address, but it doesn't matter because it's a subdomain, and uh, that's fine. So here we are. Uh, screenshots and story. You can go read about how I got here and what I did and why I did it. But you don't care about that. What you care about is getting these files. So right-click on the thing and you say save link as. You can also just normal click on it and then right-click in the background and say save as. And uh, you go to your apps roaming Minecraft saves file and you save them right here in the root. So I'm just going to save them on the top of it. Replace it? Yes. I, I want to. Cool. And then uh, you can go back to this page. And so that's just the interface file. The rest of them are actual scripts. So we're going to download, I already downloaded Forrester. We can download Wizard Mountain. We'll see how that one works. Save link as, just same thing. Save it right there in the root directory of your save files. And I'll go over how to use them in a second. Uh, line rail, that one's fun, sure. I think that one still works too. Starstone I think might be broken. Let's find out. I haven't even checked these. I'm not a professional, but that's fine because you're not paying for this, so it's all good. Uh, if you would like to pay for this, you can go to sub.tryop.com and uh, you can support me on a weekly donation or you can go to my Patreon somewhere. Uh, Patreon's on here somewhere, I think. Anyway, I've got a family, and uh, I do this stuff for fun. Um, let's just go to that. Patreon.com slash DudeCon. That's me. Here I am. And here's my Patreon page. And so you can uh, subscribe here, too. If that's something that you like to do. That's, that's what they say, right? And, uh, okay, so that's the... How do you get the files? You've got them. They're Python files, so you, they're plain text. You can read them. And uh, I'll go through how to edit these now. So another thing to note, these only work on Minecraft 1.12 and earlier. They don't work well and maybe not all the way earlier. 1.12 is the save file format that these work on. I could update them to 1.13, but I haven't really put the effort in to do it because no one seems to use these anymore. Why would I waste my time? So what you do is you start up Minecraft 1.12. You can launch it in the previous version and you know how to do that by watching someone else's video. I'm not going to tell you how and uh, make a new world and you're gonna call it whatever, you know, test. I think I've got this set up to be test world. Uh, and you can play in creative mode, I like doing that, and create new world. So it's gonna make your world and uh, then you're gonna look around the world for an area that you wanna modify. Now, the reason you have to do this in game is because this doesn't have, these scripts don't have a viewer in them. They're not a mod, they're a, a mod. Oh, wow, this is a tiny little island in the middle of nowhere. Okay, perfect. It'll be fine. It'll be great. So uh, we're going to put it right here. So what I like to do is F3 to view location, and you can see it right there in the XYZ. Or if you don't like doing that, you can say uh, slash whatever, clone or fill. Uh, or maybe, yeah, fill might be easier to type. And then you just hit tab, space, tab, space, tab, space, three times, and uh, you copy all that out. And then, so that'll give you the location of this block, and that's the coordinates in world. And the reason you need that is because um, the scripts are all are based on coordinates. It's like, it's like magic. So now you save and quit the title because we don't want to be in there while the thing is modifying the file. So, what is modifying the file? Well, it's this code. There's a bunch of, of code here, and maybe I'll do a video later describing, walking through all this code and exactly what it does and how it works. But for now, all you need to know is you set the load name up here. You set the number of trees, uh, and this is in, in idle. Um, you can edit in whatever, you can edit in Microsoft text editor, notepad, or uh, your IDE of choice, whatever, anything that you edit text files. Uh, so, uh, load name is test world tree count, that's the number of trees you want it to make. Uh, this is forester.py. Actually, you know what, let's do, uh, let's do Wizard Mountain first. That'll be fun. Okay, so here we go. Wizard Mountain.py uh, version 5. 
test uh, test world. I think we spell it with a space bar in there. So it's important that you get this this name exactly right. It's the name of the the folder that this save is saved in, which is also the same as the name of the world that you made, unless you made multiple ones called new world because that's the default name, and then it'll append uh, parentheses to the end. And I think you need to add the parentheses for it, it to work because um, it's going to find the it's going to find the save file folder, not the name that you named in the game, because you can have multiple saves with the same name in the game. So X, Y, Z, uh, Y isn't important. So here, here's the fill that we, we copied out of Minecraft. So the X is this location. So we're going to copy that over that. And the Z is this location. We're going to copy that over that. And the Y we don't need. So we'll just delete that. So now we've got our X and Z set. And then we want to set the radius. So Wizard Mountain makes set what you'll see. Uh, radius 5, height 20. Sure, let's just use the, the default settings and, and see what happens. So save it, control S, and then F5, I think, runs it. Hey, there we go, it's done. Uh, so let's see what it did. Single player, test world, that's the one we just created. You can edit, edit any of them you want, but they have to be version 1.12. Uh, so these 1.14, it's got a different save format, it's not going to work. So test world, run it and uh, hey look at that there's a chunk that used to be it used to be uh, flat and now this chunk is just ripped up right out of the ground and floating in the air so that is what wizard mountain does it uh, takes a radius of a certain size uh, and you set that size and then it's got some, some little magic code in there maybe I'll like I said I'll go back later sometime and and uh, tell you how all that works and it just uh, takes whatever blocks were there and uh, and pulls them right up into the sky and uh, so and that's that's all there is to it and so now let's put a tree on top of this because that, that sounds like fun okay so here we are back in forester.py and we're gonna paste those x and z in here so they have the same coordinates we're gonna set it to just one tree i think because we don't want to make a whole bunch of trees uh, test world's correct. Radius. Uh, this is the radius of the area. So if you want to make a whole bunch of trees, you can set a large radius. Uh, I think it's it we're, it's going to work better if we just make it pretty small radius because we don't want it to get out of control and put them somewhere crazy. So then you can select the type of tree you want. Not select. You can type in the type of tree that you want. Uh, normal is the normal um, Minecraft tree, not the tall kind. The tall kind is called round. And uh, and then there's rainforests, which are really big and tall, kind of have like a canopy. Actually, let's do rainforests because a lot of these are um, are kind of like the ones in, in Minecraft, uh, with the difference being that you can make very, very big trees with this script. So center height is 55, and we can set that up to, I don't know, like 85 maybe? Um, and then the edge height is if it's at the edge of the range. So when it's placing multiple trees, it'll interpolate between the center height and the edge height so that the ones on the edge are smaller and the ones in the center are bigger. And that's kind of cool. Uh, height variation, no, we're not going to set that to 1 or something. I think it works if it's 0. Default is, uh, well, it wasn't 1. This default is not correct. It's not telling you the truth. It's lying to you, but don't believe it. Okay, wood, so that just tells you it's kind of wood. Trunk, okay, well, you can, you can mess with all these settings. Um, there's some pretty fun things. Uh, that you can do, like make it broken off at the top and hollow inside and stuff. Um, roots, we want to have roots. Those are so cool. Root buttresses, yes, yes. Foliage density. Okay, so anyway, so um, we're going to save this again and then we're going to run it and it chugs along for a bit and uh, now it's done. So let's see what that did. So here we are in Minecraft again, single player, test world. So it's the same one. It's got that, that uh, floating island, but now it's got a great big huge tree on top of it. Now this is a very skinny tree. I don't think that's right, but um, but there you have it. That is that is actually what we asked it to do, and that's what it did. Uh, you can see some of the lighting is messed up. I haven't debugged the lighting fixer very much. Um, I think Minecraft will automatically relight all this stuff eventually, but uh, for now, that's what we got. So one of the cool things about the, the, uh, the roots here is that they'll go until they reach air and then they'll just hang straight down. So you can see these roots are hanging down into the cavity that was left by the... Oh, there's Aww. monsters now. Uh, it was left by the, the wizard mountain getting pulled out of the ground. And uh, I think that's really cool. There are no roots in Minecraft, but with this... Um, not a mod, with this tool, 
you can edit the, the world so that your trees have roots that reach down underground. And uh, you can set them to a bunch of different settings. You can look in the, the file and you see how it works. But that is the long and the short of how to run these scripts in Minecraft. And then if you want to put them into uh, a newer version of Minecraft, 1.13, 1 1.14, leave a comment in the video and let me know that you appreciate this and want me to work on it. Because otherwise, I'm not going to work on it. And, and that's fine. It's fine either way. Uh, so, yeah. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, that is uh, that is Minecraft scripting stuff. Um, one more thing, all the scripts that I've written are freely available public domain, so you're freely welcome, encouraged to edit and modify them. Uh, the Python is pretty straightforward, and I might do a video on that soon. So, yeah, enjoy. <laughs>